Hello everybody, my name is Mitch and I'm a sales rep here over at Janus Motorcycles and today we're doing a special ride, just me and myself and I, uh, with the Phoenix 250. We have an announcement to make but I'll, uh, I'll make that on the ride as we're moving along. I'm going to have my messenger bag with me. Today I'm riding to Wedgwood Brewing Company in Middlebury, Indiana. We're going to take 22 from Goshen to Middlebury and uh, it's a nice country road you might see a couple Amish buggies we'll see a couple little twisties and uh, I'm gonna fill this bag up for uh, beer for the crew and uh, we'll be on our way here shortly all right here we go <clears throat> got my petcock on the right side here where'd you go in reserve I'm gonna put that in on so I don't run out of gas for good put the choke all the way up kick stand up look at my mirror here and I'm one of those guys I keep my hand on the choke lever and half choke And choke off. Check my mirror again. And off we go. She always starts a little cold in the morning, but she'll warm up here down the road. Sounds like I got a squeaky rear brake. So yeah, we are uh, heading to Middlebury, Indiana. Nice small town, everything closes around five o'clock. <laughs> so we're going around lunchtime. The Phoenix is such a nice, lightweight bike. You're looking around 260 pounds. A 250 Cafe Racer style bike. There's just not a lot of them out there. It's very unique, one of a kind. I know Jordan, our uh, our media guy, He's he's got a uh, Phoenix 250. I think he's got number 20. It's a white one with red pinstripes. He loves it. We got about 70-ish out in the country right now. And uh, I think all of our customers are doing great on that Phoenix. Loving it. This one's only got about close to 250 miles on it. It's our demo bike, our test ride bike. If you come to the shop and you want a test ride, this is the bike to use. I actually used to live down this road with, uh, <laughs> funny enough, me and Hannah, the other sales rep, used to be roommates with her, uh, her husband, Scott who also does some awesome things for Janus during the summertime because he's a school teacher. And we lived at the top of this hill up here. That was a nice place to live. We enjoyed it. I had a Pinto moped back in the day when I lived there. I actually bought it from Scott 
and uh, it got stolen in Goshen. So this is 22. This is going to take me all the way to Middlebury, exactly where I want to go to Wedgwood Brewing Company. So I was talking about an announcement with the Phoenix, and uh, it's sad to say we're only going to do five more bikes, and then we're done with the Phoenix 250. It might return someday, but we don't know if or when that would happen. The Phoenix 250 has just been an amazing product for us. The Cafe Racer style really draws that younger crowd. And uh, sorry, that guy wasn't in his lane. He's trying to kill me. That's how you're supposed to ride, right? Everyone out here is trying to kill you. Keep that in mind. Anyways, the Phoenix 250, uh, it's been an awesome product for us. We don't sell as many. I got about 70 of these out in the US. Compared to the Halcyon 250, I got 900 of them out in the US. It's a big comparison. And for us, it just makes sense to do a limited run on these. So if you are thinking about getting a Phoenix 250, you've been thinking about it for a while, or you are already a collector of uh, Janus motorcycles and the Phoenix was on your list to get, now's the time, because we only got five left. Five Phoenix 250s left, and that's it. You can use our configurator. If you want to do a custom color, just call me at the shop, and uh, we can talk about RAL powder coat numbers for the color options. I've been getting a lot of those inquiries and requests lately of, you know, custom colors and stuff, and we've got a lot of cool stuff come through the shop lately. But if you're thinking about doing a custom color on a Janus, just look up a Sherwin-Williams powder coat RAL chart. And uh, it'll give you a number next to the color name on the chart. And uh, just tell us what that RAL number is. And we'll look it up for you and see if it's in stock and if we can get it. And then we, if we can put that on your bike. It's, a, it's an upcharge. You're looking around 300 bucks most of the time. But depending on the color you choose, if it needs a clear coat for quality assurance, you're looking around 700 bucks. I'm sorry you're gonna be stuck looking at this trailer the whole time, but it's actually pretty nice outside. A little overcast, some sunshine, having a good time. All by my lonesome. I got a gig this month on the 18th. I'm gonna play some music for about an hour at this barn up here. Brook Meadow Barn, or Meadow Brook Barn. I can't remember. So we're gonna check that out, past this here. This road at night is terrifying because you got cornfields on both sides. Welcome to Indiana. And a deer could hop out at any given point in time. I've hit four deer in my life. Thank God, not on a motorcycle. But that's, uh, that's Midwest living right there. The Phoenix 250s is one of those awesome fun bikes taken on curves. Right now I'm sporting the standard bars. The sport bars are where it's at though, if you wanna hit those curves at a nice angle. There, there's that barn I'm gonna be playing at. I think they're gonna have like food trucks and events and stuff, pretty neat. Yeah, Meadowbrook. Well, no Amish buggy so far, so that means I'll get there really quickly. <laughs> yeah, these Phoenix 250s, they're gonna be a rare commodity, just like uh, the Halcyon 50cc. There's only 46 of those in the US and you're looking at a Phoenix 250 now, there's only gonna be about 75, maybe 78 in the US and it's gonna be a one of a kind item. Your neighbor's definitely not gonna have one. We're 
really nice sleek tank goes with the legs really well just nice and smooth and straight you can get a solo seat or you can get a bench seat and have a passenger max weight on the bike I believe was 335 pounds so as long as the two of you don't exceed that you're good to go there's no luggage rack system on the Phoenix 250 I've seen customers do their own bags and stuff um, customization stuff on there themselves but we offer the messenger bag and a rucksack bag that uh, that you can get and that's what I'm rocking right now the messenger bag you fill a couple of growlers up bring it back to the guys in the shop I think I'm gonna grab lunch here too I'm kind of hungry and they make some uh, some pretty cool hamburgers here so this ride is really enjoyable I used to, uh, when I used to take lunch breaks, <laughs> I used to hop on a demo bike and just come out here on this road down to Middlebury and back just as a lunch break, just to get outside, some fresh air. I'm, I'm, I mostly stare at a screen all day, answering emails and answering phones and talking with people about, about their motorcycles and stuff. So it's always nice to get out from behind a desk and get paid to be behind a motorcycle <laughs> instead. That's where you that's where you want to be another reason I'm going to Wedgwood is uh, they have a beer called Janus they spell it J-A-N-I-S I'm gonna see how they pronounce it maybe they say Janus instead of Janus <laughs> there's this awesome bicycle path you could take all the way from Goshen to the Middlebury even to Shipshawana it's called the pumpkin vine if you're ever in the Goshen area and you got a bicycle, it's worth the trip. It's a lot of fun. The Pumpkin Vine Trail. This road isn't the smoothest, <laughs> but uh, it's scenic. It's fun. Looks like I'm in Michigan right now, doesn't it? I'm just kidding. Just kidding, you Michigan folks. You're good people. That trash was trying to kill me. Did you see that? Well, I won't be behind this thing on the way back, so that'll be good. Get more of a scenic, scenic route, hopefully. So yeah, this is where the pumpkin vine crosses. This is where I used to turn around at on my lunch break and just head back to work. Just a nice little jaunt. Some poop on the road. Poop. Hey, we, we spotted one. There's one Amish buggy. called the Crossroads of America here in Indiana. There's a reason for that. Semis all over the place. Did you know that there are some Amish people that build some of the parts for our bikes around here? Well, now you do. I'm riding an Amish-made motorcycle. <laughs> uh, screech! I got a gig here in October. I gig all over the place. Yeah, this is my spot right here. Get my neutral light. And there's the Phoenix 250 number 72. Looking at five more. We just did a custom yellow one. I think it's going out to Texas. It was a yellow Phoenix with the blue pinstripe. Some guy wanted to do a tribute to Ukraine with the Phoenix model, so it looks pretty cool. But this one is fantastic. Just the black and red pinstripe, that deluxe tank. Mmm, money. Love it. So yeah, I'm gonna walk inside here. I'm gonna take my helmet off so they don't think I'm robbing the place and uh, grab some stuff for the guys.
band's gonna be playing over here next uh, October. So that's the place here. It's a cool spot. Well, I got some bad news. They are not doing to-go beer right now, so my crew is gonna be pretty upset when I get back. But, uh, well, maybe they'll understand. I got to have a burger anyways with queso and jalapenos. Very happy about that. So I'm gonna go back to the shop and uh, deliver that bad news of no to-go beer from Wedgwood today. They got some uh, some stuff going on with bigger tanks coming. Very exciting for the company. They're gonna be a, a much bigger brewery than what they are now. So uh, let's ride back. She's all warmed up from our ride before. Yes, so as I was saying, the Phoenix 250 is a, is a must have in the arsenal of lightweight motorcycles in your garage. It's, uh, it's just an awesome machine. for uh, also like a beginner bike like it's lightweight you're not gonna be like breaking any speed limits with it it's a 250 did you see that bird it just tried to kill me uh, if you're a beginner motorcycle or want to be a motorcyclist and man 250 is way to go Phoenix especially so you might be wondering like all right so you're you're gonna be doing away you're only doing five more bikes what's that mean for warranty what's that mean for service any bikes uh, that were built in the 250 models that were built from November 2021 till current uh, gets a four-year warranty on their 250 motorcycle the, the next five Phoenixes also will have that four-year warranty. We will still carry parts in-house for all of your needs, whatever you, whatever you need. We, we'll carry it in-house and ship it to you. If you want to work on your own bike, that's fine. It doesn't void your warranty. Our bikes are very easy to work on. We got awesome DIY videos on our YouTube channel. It's a nice cool breeze right now that overcast I don't know if it's gonna rain it wasn't supposed to while I was out but I've been wrong before you guys know what I'm talking about uh, if you ever have any questions about our motorcycles please feel free to reach out to us through email through phone calls through the website my email is Mitch, M-I-T-C-H, at JaniceMotorcycles.com. You can call the shop, 574-538-1350. You can visit our website at JaniceMotorcycles.com. Go on the build configurator. Build out your dream motorcycle with the colors that we offer. If you have any questions about other colors that aren't on the page, just give us a call. We'll try to find something for you. It's crazy to think that, what, 2011, we were making a 50cc motorcycle, and now we're making a 450. We got four models currently, soon to be three again, with the Halcyon 250, the Griffin 250, and the Halcyon 450. And the Phoenix 250 is going to hit the sidelines for a while. Who knows? If you ever want to come test ride at our facility, just go to uh, 211 South 5th Street, Goshen, Indiana. That's 46528. We get a lot of people from out of town wanting to come test ride our motorcycles. We're happy to have you. Our shop hours Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. I'm typically there Monday through Friday. Sometimes we're open on Saturday, but you make sure you call on Friday the day before and make sure we're there because we like to go out and ride on the weekends just like you. So some items I would get 
on your Phoenix, I would get the sport bars. I like the headlight visor on the Phoenix. I would get one mirror, and then when you get your bike, maybe put some bar ends on them. I think that looks better on the cafe racer style. I really like the basic tank because of all the different colors we offer, but if you're picking like a black color, that deluxe tank really does pop just like on this bike. There's this new satin black that looks amazing on this Phoenix model. I would do that maybe with like a silver pinstripe. Oh, that would look good. Satin black with silver pinstripe. Mm. We've also had a couple other great, great customizations come out. Somebody did a vintage red. Oh, that's a bump. Vintage red and then uh, and cream, those aren't very, you know, most of the time when someone gets a Phoenix, they're gonna get cardinal red, a big bright red, or black, or American blue. They don't really explore the other colors that we offer, like British Racing Green. Satin Olive Drab would look cool too. Lake Effect White, Charlevoix Blue. Life gets too busy sometimes. You just need to go out and ride, whether it's on your lunch break or after you put the kids to sleep at night. Spend some time with your motorcycle. Get some R&R. &R. Whether it's by yourself, with friends, family, it's good to get out and ride. Phoenix 250 starts at 8,800. And then you have till September 1st to snap out that last five, one of the last five, or take all five, I don't care of the Phoenix 250s, September 1st of 2022 is your last time to get it. up on downtown Goshen. Janus headquarters. Thanks for riding with me. Again, if you're looking into getting the Phoenix 250, please act now because they're going to go fast. Pop this guy in the neutral here for you. I'll do a walk around. Phoenix 250. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Please uh, hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Uh, Jordan does an awesome job on making all of these videos, so uh, make sure you put in the comments how much you like them. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you again.